Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for x. We're given 4 times the square root of x times the square root of the quantity 5 factorial equals 8x. And x is not equal to 0. This is day 20 of our algebraic calendar. We're going to solve 28 algebraic problems. It looks like there's some pretty cool ones here. And if you want to try this one, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. First, let's focus on the square root of the quantity 5 factorial. 5 factorial means the same thing as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And after you multiply all these, we get 120. So this changes into the square root of 120. And now for the next step, let's go further with the square root of 120. 120 is the same thing as 4 times 30. The 4 and the 30 can each have their own square root. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. For the next step, this 4 can multiply by this 2 to give us 8. Then we can divide both sides by the 8. On the left-hand side, these 8s will cancel each other out, so we're left with the square root of x times the square root of 30. And on the right-hand side, these 8s cancel each other out, so we're left with x. Now to get rid of these square roots, let's square both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, these square roots and the square will cancel each other out, so we're left with x times 30. And we can rewrite this as 30x. And then on the right-hand side, we have x squared. Next, we can set this equal to 0. Let's subtract 30x from both sides. On the left-hand side, these cancel each other out, so we have 0. And on the right-hand side, we have x squared minus 30x. Each of these terms contains an x, so let's factor out an x. And then on the inside, x times x gives us x squared. And then we're going to subtract x times 30 to give us negative 30x. So this is the same thing as this. Anytime you have two things multiplied to give you zero, it'll be true if either one of them is equal to zero. That means either x is equal to zero or x is equal to 30. And then way up here, it says x can't equal zero, so we can discard this solution. So the answer to our question is x equals 30. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And here's the next question. We have the quantity x cubed plus y cubed whole thing cubed equals x to the ninth plus y to the ninth. And xy is equal to negative 2. And it wants us to solve for x plus y. This looks like it'll be a fun one. How exciting.